up Blackheads, so today we are uh, going to be prepping the fairings for the Yamaha R6, got one there, and off of the bike obviously, um, and so basically what we're having done is we're, I'm having them wrapped. The last guy that I bought it from did scrape up the fairings a little bit, uh, so I just need to basically sand those down so that the uh, wrap goes on smoothly, and then I'm actually going to be taking it to a place to have it wrapped just because, uh, you know, they're the professionals and there are lots of curved surfaces here, so I'm going to have it professionally done instead of me doing it, but uh, they might be willing to work with me if they are. Here's the name of the shop. So I guess we'll see what the uh, quality of the work is afterwards. So let's uh, go ahead and get to it. Just a note on a few parts, they're actually going to be taking the lettering off here and they're going to be taking this stuff off as well as this just to, uh, they're going to use a heat gun and get it off all carefully so as to not scratch or dent up anything. So there's a couple little little spots that were scraped up, um, but it's they're not like gouges, they're just scrapes, but they are rough, so whenever you lay the vinyl over them, it will show through unless you take a fine grit sandpaper and sand them down and make them real nice and smooth. So basically that's what we're doing. So I think it's good for this side, and I don't see any anywhere else. So let's go ahead and get to the other one. Yeah, that's good. They're really not in that bad condition, but I want it looking real nice. So that's pretty much all the prep work. Um, really not that much. I mean, you barely have to take, like a, like I said, a really fine uh, grit sandpaper and just some water. Basically, you're wet sanding it until the surface is just smooth and not, like, gouged up anymore. All right, so, I mean, as you can see, it's just nice and smooth. You just feel for any other, you know, areas that might have been, like, scuffed up. Like, down here, felt a little nicked up, so I just lightly did a wet sand on that basically ready to take to uh, take to the rat place. I'm gonna see if I can get these off though because they said whenever they remove the lettering they usually break so I'm gonna see if I can get that off without breaking it. All right blackheads I'm actually on the way right now to Shadow Graphics who is the company that's doing my wrap for the R6. So we've gone back and forth I basically provided them the uh, design for it which I mean I'm sure it takes uh, takes care of a lot of the time because their designer doesn't have to like come up with it so I basically provided the uh, vector file for the American flag that I'm throwing on the side of it so shadow graphics is, uh, is a local place that does wraps on cars and I guess they don't usually do bikes but um, you know upon presenting them the fairings of the R6 you know they basically said that they can do it so that's where I'm headed right now uh, yeah nice guy really, really nice jump over a couple lanes there bro so yeah the work that i have seen them do on cars uh is actually very very good so i'm expecting good things for uh for the bike been working with them going back and forth getting the design uh kind of perfected um they've been really really great about communication um easily reachable via phone or email been going back and forth with uh getting the placement correct uh in like a psd which is a photoshop document 
basically what I'm doing right now, before they print off everything, they want to make sure they have the, uh, the coloring all correct and to my liking. So they're going to basically provide some color samples. I'm going up there right now to confirm that everything is all good. And uh, from there they will print it and then wrap the bike. So they said that that takes about a day. The wrap part, I guess, doesn't really take as long. It's like the process up to getting the wrap planned out and correct. That, uh, that takes a little bit, but definitely worth the patience in the long run because their products definitely seem quality. But we'll be seeing that whenever the wrap is on the R6. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're headed right now. Once again, the company is called Shadow Graphics. If you guys are located in the Central Florida area at all, uh, they're located just off of Conroy and uh, Vineland, kind of across from the Holy Land experience, just off of I-4, so it's a convenient location. I love this bike, man. Seems as good a spot as any. All right, so this is it. Shadow Graphics. Kind of uh, just located in this industrial area. But uh, they got a bay that they pull everything into. A bunch of big printers in the back and all that stuff. So let's, uh, let's go see what they got for us. The door's locked, knock on the bay door. Man, it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain. All right, so stopped by, checked out some of the color samples that they had printed off. We uh, picked one that was closest. So what we're going to go from there is he's going to take the, the one that we picked that was closest. He's going to rich in the blacks a little bit. There was a little bit of green it looked like in the printing. So they're, he's going to basically take out a lot of that. And uh, he's going to print another thing of like, uh, like samples. And that should be in on, he was saying like later tomorrow or the next day. So in order to get it perfect, you know. You gotta have patience, and uh, it's cool that, you know, he's saying that he wants to get it perfect, which is awesome. And then, whenever time does come that we've basically decided on the coloring, because they have the fairing up there to, to match it to, both of the fairings, actually. So whenever the time comes to actually print out the whole thing, they want me to bring the bike up here just so we can get the angles right, you know, because it... Like I want the flag to match the angle of like the direction of that the seat goes like up and back. So um, yeah, it's awesome that you know they really want to get it get it perfect. So uh, we will resume whenever we're coming to check out the newest samples. What up blockheads, I am actually riding the bike naked right now. It's a continuation of the wrap series. I don't know if I call it a series, but uh, headed to Shadow Graphics to get the bike finished up. Look at that cop, man. He's perfectly hidden right there. It's a good spot, sir. Good spot. So yeah, I actually zip tied up some parts that were kind of loose, like the uh, front little fairing insert pieces. And uh, yeah, so I guess they've got the thing basically printed off and done up. They've got the fairings up there and basically taking it up to make sure that whenever they do put it on the fairings that it's all lined up correctly with the bike. Uh, because since we are getting the, the design that we're having done, you know, the flag, it's going to be angled and it needs to match up with like the lines of the seat and stuff. So getting that all done. It's been a while since I've ridden this bike. Feels good. Feels good to ride the bike. Feels good to ride. It's been a couple days since I've ridden too. Man, it's such a change from the uh, <laughs> from the cruiser. I mean, of course, it's such a change from the cruiser. And I adjusted the shift peg a little bit last time around. But I need to adjust it again because it's too low. Like the down click is hardly anything now. It's too little. Too light. Man, doing this before work, and end up being at work all sweaty. 
All right, so let's uh, run in here real quick. Shadow graphics and uh, get stuff set up. Damn blinker. So just to finish up the wrap video, my overall thoughts and impressions on it. Uh, I've had it for a while. I didn't want to do a uh, immediately after video of it just because I wanted to see how it would hold up. And thus far, I got to say, it's held up really well. Um, I'm impressed. It has, uh, I don't want to say bubbled up in some areas, but you basically know whenever you uh, have a wrap on a vehicle in some of those areas where it's a little more stretched, uh, if there's heat on it, such as heat from an exhaust or, you know, like the fans blowing heat off from the engine, it'll uh, tend to lose that adhesiveness and bubble up. Well, I've been running this thing for a while and this bike has got plenty hot and it seems to do really well. So the, uh, the wrap hasn't bubbled up in any like really crucial areas or anything, which is good. Um, just in like a couple of the little tight, tight turns or like tight curves but uh, totally not noticeable at all. Um, hasn't, hasn't faded, actually has a warranty against fading for, I wanna say a couple years because of the, the type of vinyl that they use, but overall Shadow Graphics did a good job. Uh, my only complaint was the, was the time it took, but that time it took was basically us trying to get it to be like 100% accurate. So it was uh, an investment in time to make sure that the end product was was good and was a quality end product so overall definitely happy with it so thank you shadow graphics for the wrap i get tons of compliments on the bike and uh lots of people out there basically saying like oh man i've never seen an r6 like that and people just love it and they all kind of say the same thing that it's minimal and it really goes with the bike but it looks really good so job well done guys Anyways, that's the process of going about getting your bike wrapped. If you guys do have any questions on it, post them up in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so that it sends you notifications whenever I, you know, throw up an upload and do live streams and all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. We'll catch y'all later. Deuces.